When I try to teach head people the importance of building relationships, you start seeing their eyes roll. But when I say, "How would you like to some tips to be thinking about how things can run more efficiently?" Oh, they get all excited. <gasps> Efficiency. Mm, I'm in. <laughs> so let me tell you that the advice I share with you is about creating deposits. Stephen Covey, in his book Highly Seven, High, Seven Steps of Highly Effective People, he talks about this. He, Actually, other leadership trainers often talk about relationships as emotional bank accounts. And when you're building a relationship with somebody, every time you get to know the person a little bit, every time you make a commitment to do something and you follow up and actually do it, that's deposit. And when you let someone down, it's a withdrawal. And here's what I like about this metaphor: withdrawals are inevitable in any relationship. It's not a question of you, you, you don't eventually screw up. Things happen. Conflict comes up. Yucky stuff happens. The reason most work relationships that are strained are in the condition they're in is not because of withdrawals. My personal experience, and in talking to people, most relationships that are strained are 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 strained because there haven't been any deposits. Because this is what happens: if we are on a team and we work together, it is inevitable that three, six, seven, with the nine of us on a team, inevitably I'm going to connect with a couple of them more. Right? We're going to have more in common. We maybe got kids doing the same school, or we'll have interests that we got. So I talk a little bit more to them, and I get to know a little bit more. This happened to me with students all the time. Beginning of semester, everyone was the same. Go through a couple weeks of training, go through the year. You spend a little more time talking to a couple people. Well, then you know she's got a test. So she comes in. I said, "How was that bio test?" Well, he walks in right behind her. He just took the same test, but I don't know that. And I didn't ask him. And then that can either be a withdrawal or at least not a deposit. And I was getting this feedback from my staff at the end of this first semester. You're really good hall director. You do a lot of things right, but you play favorites. And the second, third time I heard that, I'm like, "This is a problem because I don't think I'm playing favorites, but they do. So I need to do something." And it slowly occurred to me that what was happening was these people I naturally connected with more. It actually wasn't that I was playing favorites, as I was making more deposits because I was more interested in their life because we had had longer conversations, so I knew what to ask them about. So the question for you is: Are there some relationships that you have that, if they were More efficiently oiled would help you be more effective in your work. Would help them be more effective. Could you make some deposits, have some conversations, where you get to get to know them just a little bit better, and maybe get to understand them a little bit better? 